This is the lockpicking newbie, and today we have a Generation 3 Quick Set Smart Key. This is a brown belt lock. Uh, got it new from Amazon as part of the whole assembly. And um, so what we're going to do with that extensive introduction, um, we're going to go ahead and get to picking. Um, who knows, you, 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 you may see some cuts, uh, but uh, let's get started. All right, so the key's functional. And uh, here's the tool. It is uh, a uh, recovered from a broken um, 18 thousandths pick from uh, Peterson. And we're heading in to get tension on the sidebar. Okay, we're in the, the uh, gap in the side of the cylinder. And I'm looking for the little hole There we go, I think I'm in there. Okay. All right, I'll put this guy over here so I can reach it. I'm pushing in, which pushes, I'm pushing towards the back, which pushes the sidebar in. Okay, so one is loose, two is loose. One click on three, two clicks on three. Four is binding hard. Okay, and then there's the click on four, and five is binding hard, and that's, near as I can tell, is a zero set, so I'm not gonna follow with that. Now two, I think, needs to go a little bit further. Three, rather, there we go. But yeah, so we got way in there. Now we're coming up on two. A little bit of binding. One little, barely little click. Applying some more tension if we can. Now here's, here's the problem I've been having. I'm not getting any binding on one. Let's just see where we're at here. Now what I'm not sure about is maybe I overset two because that is a thing that can happen. All right, so let me count real careful. One is springy. Yeah, two's overset. Okay, so to release that, I gotta be real quiet. Okay. That might've been two, I don't know. Let's find out. One's still springy. Okay, two is down now, so just Barely make a click, there we go. Didn't even click, okay, now one is binding. Okay, and then again, barely make a little movement. Because of the way we're tensioning this thing, it's really hard to get the pins in the front. Not sure what's holding us up because because um, I should have the pins. I should have this, whatever you call these doggone things. They look like pins from, from out here. Okay, we might have dropped one. Two feels right. Oh, three is way down. Let's start over again with three. Let me just make sure I'm on the right spot. Okay, here's one. There's two. Oh, actually three, I think is fine. Four and five. Four and five feel okay. Three feels okay. I'm 
kind of scared to hit two again because it's super easy to overset, but let's just see what we can do here. Oh, I just dropped one, so let me just get, oh, there we go. All right, the tensioner went way in that time. All right, I'm pretty sure I just dropped a bunch more pins. Wow, we, boy, we are so far in right now with the tensioner. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think one is overset. Okay, guys. We got one way up now. I don't think that's right. And two is way down. Fuzzles up here, guys. Okay, so let's let's basically so that right there was a reset. I'm do this. One problem uh, or complexity with this is uh, the tensioner. You know, you saw that big curve in it. Um, you pretty much have to rebend it every time. All right, so I'm just kind of kind of skip three and just go straight to four. There we go. Now we can come back to three, one. Two, okay, so three, four, and five all feel good. Two actually feels good. So did one just then. And here we go. All right, guys. Ugh. All right, get the tension out, and we're open. Woo-hoo! Thumbs up. All right, now to be honest, I have no idea how to gut this thing. Uh, never gutted it. So we're gonna to learn together. I am so glad I got that on video. Um, I previously picked it um, like partially disassembled. So I, I could, I basically tried to prove to myself that it is pickable and I need to figure out how to do it. Um, but getting the tensioner to function right is so hard because all right, now I've got the key, so I'm going to go ahead and lock it. Because that that's the sidebar right there. And you have to push that sidebar all the way down. Or you have to tension on it. I don't know if you just saw that, but it... See how it disappears out of there? And then to, to tension it, you're sliding the tool in here and jamming it like that, which makes it, um, pushes the back of the bar, but not doesn't give you much force on the front of the bar. Okay. All right, there's a C-clip on here and it's a quick set. So let's take it off with the quick set tool. Yay. And there's a washer. And there's a tailpiece. Okay, so we are locked. Okay, guys. All right. I'm going to put the key in. There's no parts in the outer shell. 
as far as I know. So there's the outer shell. By the way, here's the inner, the really outer shell, the housing, and there's those slots in there for these features on the outer shell. Okay. We're learning together. Oh boy. Okay. So, no, seriously, I have no idea how to get this. I'm going to keep the keyhole end. Oh boy. To my left. And, um, wowzers. You know what's going to be interesting is whether or not I can, um, this ever goes back together again. Okay, so there's some sliders here. I'm just going to try to arrange them. All right, so I'm going to call that number one. Here's number two. I think this is three. It's going to be four. Four. That's going to be five. Okay. Um, wow. Look at. Okay. There was a little. Might have lost a piece. Okay. So there's this spring here, which is kind of firm, and there's like a pin. Oh, that's a sidebar. Okay, so I think um, there's springs here. No, that's not the sidebar. Dude, what the heck? All right, these tiny little clips and tiny little, oh, look at those little springs. So these are like tiny little plastic clips. Inboard and outboard on there, and then these tiny little hourglass shaped uh, springs. I'm gonna get this bigger hardware out of here. And then, yeah, so that's our sidebar. Let me. I think it'll just come out now. There we are. So there's the sidebar. Okay, I don't think that there's any functional or any uh, need to get this guy out. So I'm just going to put him right here. Okay, so I'm going to put the sidebar and the springs here. Now, these are they're really cool. Um, those are the pins or the sliders, I guess, that are on the, uh, that the key engages, and then there's tiny little, um, ridges on here, which are engaging the, um, the sliders. Now, I'm 
trying to decide if I need to disassemble this part. Or if I can disassemble this part. If I was going to do it, I think um, this plastic piece would have to come off. Yep. Hopefully the springs will go flying everywhere, which they tried, but they did not succeed. All right, and uh, I'm holding it kind of backwards to my normal one, two, three, four, five, so I'm gonna go. I'm glad I didn't get this thing before I picked it because I doubt I'd get it back together again. Okay, so here's key pin number one. They all look the same. Three, four, and five, okay. Okay, so looking at the, at the core here, don't think there's any other functional pieces. There's some ball bearings in here, but I think those are uh, um, drill protection or whatever. Okay. Well, I don't know, guys. I, I, hope, I, uh, I hope I showed enough. Because um, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't understand how this, how you key this lock. I know you key it. I know that it like um, gets its own code by how how that works. But um, So I guess the, the key pins engage. Oh, they're going to engage somewhere on the slider, one of these little ridges. And then, and then the other side of the slider is what engages the sidebar, which is here. And it's the V-shaped side of the sidebar, which goes in the V-shaped hole um, gaps here. All right, guys. Um, there you have it, the Quickset Smart Key Gen 3. So intricate, I, I think, I hope I ever, ever get it back together again. Because um, it's a fun pick now. <laughs> it wasn't all that fun trying to figure it out. All right, that's all I have for you today. Uh, this is the lock picking newbie. Have a good day.